recently my hauls have involved body things, hair things and clothing things so I thought it would be quite nice to share with you some of the beauty and makeup items that I've purchased over the past month. I'll start with eyelashes. Now I'm not normally a massive eyelash person because I find them quite fiddly to put on and I can't say that I'm an expert in eyelash application so I tend to just avoid them or only ever wear them when I've got someone to help me. <laughs> I've been wearing false eyelashes with just a very basic eye and a red lip instead of um, big eyes and lots going on up here um, which I think would look really nice on a night out but for, for the more like everyday natural kind of look I feel like I need to dull down everything else if I'm wearing eyelashes. First sets of eyelashes that I bought are Ardell Natural Style Demi Wispies and I also bought the 101 Demis in a double pack. I just thought I'd give those a go so picked those up. Whilst I was in Boots I also went to the Essie stand and I picked up two nail polishes. The first one is a really really deep um, almost black green um, and this one is called Stylonomics or Stylonomics and this one is a muted purpley beigey grey colour and this one is called Miss Fancy Pants which I really like the name of um, and yeah I just really like these. The next place I went to was Space NK. The first thing I picked up was this NARS highlighter. Now this is part of the Andy Warhol collection. It's called Satellite of Love. Let me just get it out of its reflective, like I can literally see myself in that packaging. It's just a really really pretty beigey peachy pinky highlighter with tiny little specks of gold shimmer. It is kind of similar to my luster blush which is slightly annoying although it has much less peach tone because obviously it's a highlighter so it's a lot more beige and muted than the blushes. Does anyone ever keep their like little NARS see-through plasticky bits on their NARS products? That's what I want to know. I like it a lot. Put it back in. Ah. Okay, the next thing I bought from Space and K was from the Laura Mercier counter and it is the Secret Camouflage Concealer in shade number two. As I showed you in my October favourites, I was really really loving the Laura Mercier concealer in the three pot thing, but I was really really loving the under eye secret camouflage secret concealer on one side and I pretty much used the whole thing up. So I went and purchased just the product on its own. I found that this is really really great for under the eyes. Really enjoying that. From Topshop I picked up this nail polish which I have on my nails now apart from this one which is the Essie colour. This is a really really pretty pastel blue, it's kind of a bit dusky, kind of grey blue, although it's kind of getting to autumn winter now and technically shades on the nails get slightly darker, I just really liked this and it kind of goes with my shirt. This is called Tidal, yep just Tidal, so that's really pretty. The next two beauty items that I purchased are from Feel Unique and it's the This Works Perfect Look Skin Miracle which is an instant tinted skin perfector that hydrates and brightens. I saw um, Anna from Viviana Does Makeup buy this and use it in a tutorial and I, it really intrigued me because I really like things like this for like lazy days when I'm not applying loads of makeup but I want like a tint on my face. And also it just promised lots of really nice things like it has anti-inflammatory vitamin E, brightening vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, that was quite extended, hyaluronic acid. And also I find that makeup goes on top of this really well as well. I also bought the Perfect Skin Super Moisturiser which is just a moisturiser, although it does say a rich antioxidant cream that acts as a serum and a moisturiser in one. And I've really really been liking this. These were quite pricey, I kind of feel like this is this but with a tint um, so I don't use them both at the same time so I've really really been enjoying these, leaves my skin hydrated, not too shiny, my makeup stays on top of these really really well and no problems whatsoever with these so far apart from maybe the slightly steep price tag. The last few things I purchased were all from MAC, don't think whoa man she spent so much money in MAC all in one go, I just spent so much money in MAC over a few goes, it's different. The first thing was the MAC Studio Sculpt in NW20 and the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. Now I have owned both of these before, in fact this is the fourth tube of this that I've bought, 
this is the second one of these that I've bought. I don't really read my blog back, there's three years worth of blog posts and I don't look through my old blog posts ever. But I clicked on one of the photos because I was like, man, my skin looked good there. And I was like, please say I wrote down what products I was wearing on my skin. Looked down and I had, and I was wearing this with this on top. And that is currently what I have on now and it's what I've worn in my last two or three videos. And I've just fallen back in love with these two things together. Since I have been rocking the red lip quite a lot recently and I have a feeling that I probably will through the colder months and up, up to Christmas, I decided that I should invest in a red lip liner because red lipstick always looks so much better with red lip liner before it. So I went in there um, looking for Cherry, which is this one, and I know that this is just quite a popular um, MAC um, lip liner, and it's just like a classic red, so that's Cherry lip liner. I also then thought not all of my reds are bright, um, some of them are quite dark and vampy, so I got a slightly darker one, which is called Brick. Although, I'm not sure that you'll be able to tell, it is literally only marginally darker, so I kind of feel like that was probably a bit of a silly thing to do, although I'm sure I will get use out of both of them anyway. Next up is this, which is, I've never owned one of these before, it's called a Pro Longwear Lip Glass, so I'm guessing it's just super, super duper um, long lasting, and the applicator is a doe foot, and it's so pigmented you would not believe. I don't have anything like that, and also I wear red matte lips quite a lot, so I just thought it would be nice to get something shiny that will stay on. That is called Driven by Love. Next is a cream sheen lipstick, and this is in the colour Saigon Summer. Oh, oh look, uh, it's an orange. It's actually quite a pale light orange, which I quite like the look of. I don't have an orange that's like this. It's a very yellowy orange as opposed to a red orange. And it's also very, very creamy on the lips and not massively pigmented. So I think this would look quite nice if you want a more neutral orange. So the last thing I bought in MAC is a Sheen Supreme lipstick, which I own no others of. And it's called, called Korean Candy. This is a very um, dark orangey red. I got sucked in by the orangeness and I bought it. This is massively pigmented but also super super moisturising. I really really like this formula of MAC lipstick. Naughty me, I'm not going back in MAC for a very long time. So that's all for my little beauty haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye! Every time we Like just I threw them, I threw them away. Rambled, ramble, rambling. Oh. Next place I went, I have hair in my face. Cream sheen, cream sheen. Baby pink, baby pink. Nope, this is not pink. <laughs> Turtle butt. <laughs> Turtle butt. Uh, rich anti antioxidant. Hi, Dad, Joe. Sniff, sniff, I'm gonna sneeze.